All right, remember that sea cucumber we saw earlier? They're like a nice, fun, pleasant baked potato. Well, this is a loaded potato version of a sea cucumber. That thing's been blown apart. And now we're looking at all this mess inside of here. Now, it turns out that mess is a variety of different structures you're gonna need to know. So let's go through some of these things uh, and point them out. We'll start with this red spaghetti looking stuff, uh, which I don't know, I haven't had spaghetti. It kind of reminds me of like Chef Boyardee spaghetti, which I used to eat a lot of as a kid. And then like there was like Garfield raviolis, which I was a big fan of. Now they're just like raviolis. I don't know if they have the Garfield variety or not anymore, but I love them. Me and Garfield, we have similar tastes in food. Uh, so, which is Italian and very spicy, but unfortunately that caught up to me and now I have a lot of acid reflux. But anyway, uh, let's not go doing that kind of, let's focus on positivities uh, and look at some of those things. So, this crazy looking red uh, stuff is the gonads, as you can see. So, all this gonad. This sucker is plentiful in some gonad. Uh, gonad. And then here's some over here. Gonad all kinds of gonads. Then, let's look at the intestines, because this thing's gotta eat. So, it's got some intestines. And so, intestines would be this long chain I pulled out of there. A lot of intestines. So, a lot of food processing happening here uh, with that. So, tons and tons of intestines. All right, let's go this way. Sorry. Uh, there we go. It does look like a baked potato from the side though, right? Like, just no salt on it, you know, but man. I get mixed emotions looking at these things. Because on one hand, hey, food, baked potato. I love potatoes. On the other hand, sea cucumber. Uh, so it's a little less appetizing for me personally. Uh, but if it's you, go for it. Let me know in the comments if you've ever eaten a sea cucumber, how it is. I'm curious. Uh, but yeah, anyway, that's intestines. And so that's this looking thing. It's a pretty common look for intestines. Uh, so we got the red spaghetti noodles, which are the gonads. We got this little thicker noodle, which is the intestines. Now that we have to look for the respiratory tree, and I don't have a label for that. Whoops. Uh, so anyway, the respiratory tree is important. So hope you're listening. This was sound. I'm not going to get this. Respiratory tree, you can see it over here. So this is the respiratory tree. So if you look, tons of little extensions coming off of there for gas exchange. So respiratory systems work by increasing surface area to maximize the amount of gas exchange that can occur. And that very much happens here. So, boom. We can do all that. That's respiratory tree. Inside the organism, this mush stuff is the respiratory tree. I put it in the water so you could see it easier, but this is it there. It's not the red noodle. It's that kind of mushy looking, kind of like applesauce. So kind of scattered around inside there. So, a lot of food associations with the sea cucumber, man. It's all over the place. Uh, got some noodles. Got some more noodles. And got some applesauce. Uh, fun times. Next up, we have the tentacles. So, they have those. Tentacles. Oh, what happened? Oh, the label fell off. Uh, hold on. Try and reattach it. This is a one-take production. Uh, so, tentacles up there. So those would get expelled out of the mouth. So remember we talked, we talked about the oral and aboral ends, the sea star and sea urchin? Well, same deal here. Tentacles are part of the mouth. So this is the oral region. This down here, that's your anus. Sea cucumber anus. That's the aboral region. But tentacles will be right there. Let's point out the mouth. Follow along. Mouth. Feed me. Uh, and then we have the anus. Where's the anus at? Um, got a lot of labels here. Man, I had three of them things. Um, well, any, anyway. Uh, oh, I think I found it. Yep. Anus. And that's down here. In this region. Okay. Uh, oh, and some other things. Uh, so this has a water vascular system too. It's an echinoderm. Right? It's one of the things they have. They have the ambulacral ridge, which is here. So ambulacral ridge, and it's got these little foldings on it. I can feel the folds as I move along. And if you look on here, you can see that. Those red beads, those are the ampullae. So they're part of the tube feet structure. So tube feet type structure is those red beads there. 
this other stuff on the side, you may be wondering, hey, what's that? Uh, this here are muscles. So actually, I allow this thing to you know do some contracting of sorts. So you got some muscles. Uh, ring canal, not shown, but it's there. I tried to find it, but instead what I get is expulsion of red liquid. This thing does not have blood. I don't know what that is. Uh, tad creepy, tad unnerving, but also kind of fun. Uh, but yeah, I don't, I don't know what that is. Uh, I forgot. Uh, but yeah, that's it for these, the echinoderms. That'll finish it up if you were watching this one last. But this finishes up the internal and, meh, for the most part, external anatomy of the sea cucumber. Uh, symmetry is still a thing. If you look at the patterns on the inside all the way around, you would see it still displays radial symmetry on the inside. So it still counts uh, for that. But all right, thanks for watching. Echinoderms, out.